Well, for more on the scrutiny Facebook is facing, I'm joined by Josh Constein. He's the editor at large for leading technology publication, TechCrunch. Welcome to the show. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. So we saw Facebook stock take a beating in light of all this. What's your take on the timing and scope of Facebook's response to this so far? The timing was certainly slow, but Mark Zuckerberg didn't want to put his foot in his mouth the way that he did you know, two years ago when after the U.S. presidential election, he said he thought it was crazy that fake news could have skewed the election. He ended up spending a year being criticized for that comment. So I think Facebook wanted to make sure they knew exactly what was going on before they made a response. So that was smart. But in the meantime, not making any comment really led to conspiracy theories that perhaps this breach or this problem was much worse than expected. And certainly lawmakers are calling for it. We know that Mark Zuckerberg is being called to testify before U.S. and British lawmakers. The Federal Trade Commission is opening a data privacy investigation. Some Facebook investors even say they were misled. How much of a turning point might this be for Facebook? I don't actually expect users to stop using Facebook. We are just too addicted to the news feed. And I don't think as many new bad news stories as come out, we're not going to stop scrolling. I mean, Facebook's been under terrible backlash and scrutiny for over a year now. But what is the problem is that if the moral standing of Facebook declines, if it can't see itself as a good actor in the world, it may have a lot of trouble recruiting top technology talent in Silicon Valley. And that could lead to a slow slowdown of innovative products in the next few years. And to your point then, what are the broader implications for, say, other companies, countries, or even key political moments as these data concerns really hit the spotlight? I think we're going to see a lot more scandals coming out of this bigger story because Cambridge Analytica is not the only developer that probably pulled a lot of illicit data uh, from Facebook. And Cambridge Analytica could have other sources of data. We just real found out that it partnered with a company called Pig in Mexico, which gave users free mobile broadband data in exchange for a whole lot of personal information. And Cambridge Analytica partnered with that app to analyze that data, so they probably have have that data as well. And so I think we're going to see a clamp down on the way that social networks and other technology platforms work with third party developers who they can't verify in order to protect their own users. Now it's interesting because we've already seen now search engine habits resulting in targeted advertising. You have these apps always asking for permission to view our social media pages, which in turn then shows our friends and our interests and possibly is shared with third parties. Is it too late to rein in our data at this point? The honest and terrible fact is it may be too late. Once the data leaves Facebook servers, once you give it permission to pull your data or that of your friends, it's out of Facebook's hands and there's not a lot it can do. Today, Mark Zuckerberg promised that uh, Facebook will audit any company that was suspicious or collected a lot of data using the ability to pull data from people's friends. But there's so many developers out there and so many smaller ones who could have multiple copies of the data that it's going to be nearly impossible to 100% secure this data. But what users can do is make sure they vet properly any application they give their data to. They can go to their Facebook privacy settings and deactivate their connections to any existing apps. And overall, people should just be a lot more concerned and a lot more careful with who they share their data with online. Now, we did hear one expert call data essentially the new oil for companies. So how much responsibility is there for governments versus, say, private companies and the consumers themselves to really step up on this issue? I think governments do need to step up, but the problem is if they put on too much uh, heavy regulation, it could actually deter competition towards Facebook. You can imagine that Facebook has so many lawyers and so much money that if there was heavy regulation placed on all social networks, it might be able to fight through that red tape, but smaller companies, new startups, might say, we don't have the resources to be able to comply with this regulation. So there's a worry that if uh, the government comes in and regulates too much, it could actually protect and keep Facebook in the lead. Well, certainly very eye-opening. Thank you so much. Josh Constein, there, editor-at-large at TechCrunch.